Okay, so what's the goal here? Why am I so hell-bent on getting into this black box? Why don't I just toss it? Do I even need it? The answer is yes, we do need this, or at least we want to see if we can use it. The way electric cars work is that we cannot hook up a, a high voltage, 350 volt battery pack. Directly to an inverter. Which will then send that electricity to the motor. Inside the inverter, there are capacitors. Okay, think of them as batteries on steroids. Um, they will store energy and then forward it. Um, if I was to explain a capacitor, I would explain it using the analogy of a wallet and a bank. Think of your high voltage battery pack as a bank, like a Bank of America, Wells Fargo, you get the idea. And then of course your wallet, and inside your wallet you have cash. So the capacitors are like your wallet, okay? It is a whole lot easier and quicker to get cash out of your wallet than it is to go to the bank each time, okay? And that's what the capacitors do. When the inverter needs some electricity, some power to send to the motor, it goes to the capacitors and sends it really fast. Then the capacitors can backfill at their own pace. Okay, so think of capacitors as reservoirs, okay? You have this reservoir of energy, and here's a battery, here's a capacitor, and here's an inverter, all right? The battery doesn't really trickle. I mean, it sends electricity to the capacitor fast, fast by our human standards, but not as fast as a capacitor can send that to the inverter. So sometimes the inverter will command or demand a huge chunk of electricity really fast. I don't know, let's say, you know, 360 volts or something like that, or maybe higher, 400 volts, who knows? And the capacitor will go, here you go, and send it off super fast. Well, the energy in the capacitor decreases, but not all the way. And then the battery keeps feeding the capacitor more energy so that when the inverter wants to request another jolt of energy, the capacitor is ready. It would wear out the battery if the inverter was directly pulling energy from the battery because it's not a steady flow. I mean, think about it. You're driving an electric car, okay? You are going to be sitting on a red light or a stop sign. Then you give it gas, you start going. Uh, if you're on the freeway, you may step on the gas harder to pass somebody. You may be going up a hill, those types of conditions. So there, it's not a steady pull of energy from the battery, all right? Uh, we can maybe use the analogy in the old days of an accelerator pump on a carburetor. I know I'm getting carried away with my analogies here, but a carburetor, pulling gasoline out of the fuel tank could not keep up with the demands of an engine back in the day, back before electronic fuel injection. So there was a circuit called a uh, accelerator circuit and it was sort of like a booster. It would boost the energy or it would give a more jolt of gasoline down the, the throat of the carburetor into the engine. And that's what a capacitor does. It can send that bigger jolt, this bigger boost of energy to the inverter much faster than the battery could. I hope I did an okay job of explaining that, or at least starting to. I've seen some really good videos on YouTube explaining this very well. I'll try to add those to my description of this video below so that you guys can click on those links and, and see for yourself what I'm talking about.